Yeah, ChatGPT is a fantastic tool and it will dramatically change how we educate students. Um, I tried, for example, to run all of my exams through ChatGPT. And I'm very impressed. So the essay type questions, I easily would have passed the student who answered those, those questions. And it's kind of fun too, because I can see a lot of ChatGPT takes a lot of answers from my textbook and my research. So I can recognize these things and, and the answers again. And then I even for the multiple choice questions, I use ChatGPT. And guess what? ChatGPT most of the time gets it right. And then can tell you why that answer is right. And you can ask, why are the others wrong? And ChatGPT is just amazing. So it's a really a fantastic tool. So personally, I think it will be very stupid for educational institutions not to allow ChatGPT because going forward, think about this, in five, in 10, in 20 years, we all have ChatGPT on our phones, on our smartwatches. I mean, already now I talk to my phone, say, hey Siri, please pull, uh, tell me what is this, tell me what is that. And this, hey Siri, hey ChatGPT, this will be interface language, interface typing, interface pictures, so that it will be able to do anything for you. So I think you have to think very carefully, well, what, what is the objective of your teaching? And of course, one part is skill set. And it's a bit like mathematics. Do you allow students to use a calculator? So if I want to ensure that people can do basic mathematics here, then I, I, do a, I teach them and we do a few things without a calculator and that you can do mentally quickly say, hey, is this a million or 10 million or 100 million that you can really have a feel for numbers. So that skill set, I will still teach you without the calculator. And the same I think is for debate logical reasoning, sort of internalizing a body of knowledge. Um, for example, I teach service management. I just want you to know certain things. You don't need to ask ChatGPT. I can ask you, hey, what are the key strategies for driving a loyalty strategy, right? You should be able to know. But I will not assess this through ChatGPT. This will be done in class discussion. This may be done in an oral exam. It may be done in a quick exam where there is no internet connection, where we disallow people to use ChatGPT. But for example, we do a lot of applied learning, MBA consulting project, these kind of things. I want you to use all the tools you possibly can use to deliver the best possible project outcome here. And that means, yeah, of course you will use ChatGPT to structure your thoughts, to get ideas, to do brainstorming. But I think the, the thing is really, how do you use that output now to then discuss with your team, to brainstorm about it, to fine tune, maybe to articulate new questions, which you then again run through ChatGPT. So to me is more important, this is a new technology we have, and we have to train students to use this technology as best as they can to improve their output, right? In the end, we, we don't want you to be able to regurgitate stuff. We want you to be able to problem solve, to do things with the tools you have available. And ChatGPT is an exciting tool. I think all of us will use more and more. And I mean, I find myself even now, I don't Google anymore. <laughs> I ask ChatGPT and most of the time the answers are right. And hey, as a result, I learn more, I become better and I want the same for our students.